Hey, I'm on a job here just doing an inspection before they place concrete. And you can see here on the outside, they got their string line all set up. It's, it's actually, they've got an inch and a half away so they can um, straighten the wall out with it. That's really good. Um, they've got the rebar in, it's really good. They've got a uh, 15 or number five bar in there. It's staggered, if I go down the wall, you'll see it's staggered. So it's gonna be very good for them to put their um, vertical rebar in, they haven't done that yet. Um, the, the bracing is nice and straight and the wall is nice and straight on this wall. But now come look at this, there's a few things that I've seen. Right here, this overlap is not enough. This uh, should be 40 bar diameters, so really that should be closer to a two foot overlap for this size bar that they're doing. But this concerns me even more. On this wall you'll see they've taken their uh, horizontal rebar and they've jumped from space to space and actually weaved it in the wall and that's actually going to give a crooked wall. It can be very difficult to straighten a wall like that. It's important to keep the rebar always in the same slot. Don't, don't change it. So what I'll do is lift that up and move it over. It'll be perfect. Hey, the guy's walking in with the two inch vibrator. They're gonna be vibrating concrete on this job. A little bit too big of a vibrator. We, we typically tell people use a one inch vibrator, but that's all they have on this colony. They're using it in all the windows. Get the concrete flowing into the windows. Make sure that they're all full properly. You'll see the windows that they're doing on this, the window bucks, they're um, two by fours on edge with five eighths inch plywood. No cross bracing on it, they're relying on the 2x4s to give them the bracing. I don't typically recommend doing it this way because you're losing so much insulation value. I usually will go with the 2x4s on the flat and half inch plywood and also put bracing on the inside. Looking in the wall, you'll see that they have all the rebar done quite well. That's a 15 amber number 5 bar and a 10 amber number 4 bar for the vertical. Um, very nice job. And then running into the a T block here. Again, they've done a nice job with the 90s, getting that all done up. They've gone a little bit higher with the demising walls. The reason for that is uh, that has to go up through the roof for fire separation. Okay, we are uh, just filling up the topping pass on this um, fourplex. Uh, that's a demising wall there, firewall that's going to go up through the attic. There's three of them. All of them are using T-blocks, so there's six T-blocks. Guys vibrating the concrete as they finish that topping pass. Here's the, another one of the demising walls. If I climb up on the scaffold, you'll see that we're right up to about the 10 foot, maybe 10 and a half foot mark with the concrete at that point. And if you look down on this T-block, he hasn't come to do the topping pass here. It's just about a foot and a half down from the top of the wall. You'll also see there is no bracing at all on this tee. The only thing holding this tee together is the Foxbox HV clips, and they have all held just fine, just like uh, that's very common with us, just like our 90s. No worries at all about separation or blowouts or anything like that. Just put the HV clips in and pour concrete. That's what we do. Okay, these walls are all full of concrete. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. We filled them up with about a, oh, a 150 or six inch slump concrete. The T walls held together really good. And you'll see here that they are using a uh, different type of top plate. They're using an LBL. That's the same width as the block and they've got the anchor bolts already in and they're just wet setting it into the concrete. We've got some protection layer underneath it so that the wood's not touching the concrete. And that's it. Now we will do another fine tuning with the string, make sure the walls are perfect, and they are ready, ready to go with the roof coming on top of this.